trees. See the world. Free grub? Oh, boy, that's for me. Mm -hmm. So, where's all the grub? Waits for me. You got the wrong sailor. Ooh, a costume sea party. Cha-cha-cha. Now that's something I could get into. Roll call! The food line. Okey? Yeah. Corky? Hello. Thompson? Thompson. <laughs> Thompson. Oh, Thompson. Thompson! <laughs> Someone Captain Redwood call show name Thompson? Hold on, I'm not Thompson. What do you mean you're not Thompson? Picked you up at the dock like you wanted. Ah, oh, this is getting boring. I'm here for the free food. If you're not Thompson, what be your name then? Arr. It be Woody. Arr. Arr, me hearty. That's a fine sailing name. Uh, but where's your sea leg? S sea leg? I sea leg. Every real pirate's got a sea leg. Don't we, mateys? I can't. Oh, I've got two good ones that left, unfortunately. He's not a pirate, Captain. <coughs> no, sir. He's one of those, um, land creatures. Hey, I'm no landlubber. Captain, he took your sword. Get my sword! Right, 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 back to swine! He be the infamous pirate, Woody Muckpacker, scourge of the seven seas. Arr. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Boys? We got us a stowaway, and you know what that means. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Actually, no. No, no not as such, no. What happens when you do something wrong? <laughs> we get punished? Exactly! So we should... Um, punish him! Punish him! Hmm, can't do that. I don't know how to do that. Oh, boy! Let's tar and feather him! Oh, but I've already got feathers. Oh, no. Ah, and we don't have no tar. Take him to the rack! Yay! Tie him to the rack! Oh, shoot, guys. I'm too short to tie to the rack. I'll just go home now. Not so fast there, lad lover. Hmm. I mean, arr. The plank! We'll have him walk the plank! The plank! The plank! The plank! All righty! Now walk. Some vacation this is. And no food. to you guys. How? Well, I'm a woodpecker. A woodpecker? What's a woodpecker? I don't know. No, oh, we don't need no stick and woodpecker! <laughs> Look! Ooh, pretty. Uh, can you do a skull and crossbones? Ah, ah, there ain't nothing like a pint of ale. Oh, uh, that's uh, ginger ale, kiddies. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Captain? Well, um, have we raided other ships? Yeah. Um, plundered? Oh, yes. Have we sang that Yo-Ho-Ho -ho song? I believe so, sir. Oh, then I guess there's nothing left. We've done all a pirate could do. No more adventure. 
What about a mutiny? Oh, what's that? A mutiny is like a big party, and you get to take over the ship. Oh, boy. How about we have a mutiny party? Why you? You'll pay for this! All right, swabbies! I'm Captain now, and I say we head for sure! Oh boy, free grab, smorgasbord. That's for me. No, Ollie, don't! It's all a cruel trick! The pirates! And the ships! With the rack! And the plank! Tar and feathered! I finally. They were ghosts, man! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Ghost pirates! <laughs> Crazy woodpecker. No! Wait! Oh no, not again. Oh boy, business stinks. <sighs> Winnie's salon is killing my wig shop, Con. I gotta get me some of her customers. Oh, a day of beauty. Hairdresser wanted. Hmm, I know just the guy. <laughs> I'm Leroy, and I'm your man for the job. Well, I sure could use the help. I'm swamped. How about me and Peachy going first? Is there any way you could squeeze me in first? No, me! Please, Winnie! You're hired. You just let me know if you need anything, and I'll check on you later. The only thing I need is some of your customers. I'll give him a shampoo that'll make him wig out for sure. <laughs> Follow me, ladies. We'll get you washed first. My hair must be handled with great care. I want Peachy's hair the same as mine. I need a shampoo and a leg wax. <laughs> and your little dog, too. <laughs> oh, I cracked me up. Oh, this is rich. <laughs> like I'm gonna be. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Right. Oh, yes. It's just uh, fine. Uh, you just relax now. May I look in the mirror? Can I have a look, too? Ah! 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 
experience in the hair business. Come with me, ladies. I know just how to help you. My uh, brother uh, can fix you gleaming gals up as good as new. What happened? Now I've lost all my best customers. Girl, you look marvelous. Wait a minute. I got it. It matches your red lips. Oh, does it? I've got just the one for you. Madam, that's totally you. This con is waking great. Shiny scalps equals mom's moolah. <laughs> now to steal some more of Winnie's customers. I just don't understand how this happened. I didn't do anything differently today. Yoo-hoo! Oh, Winnie! Huh. She must have left. Oh, the better for me. So that's what it was. He's no hairdresser. He's a hair undresser. If you want to make it in the hair business, you got to know how to cut it. This buzzard's going to get what's coming to him. Ladies, wait. I can explain your hair. It wasn't my fault. It was that phony buzzard, Leroy. Come on, I'll prove it. There's the culprit. Caught in the act. All this in the name of dirty wig money. <laughs> oh, ladies, please. Give me some air. I feel faint. You don't believe that nasty woodpecker over moi? Prove it. Go on, pretty boy. Shut up. Great. Yeah, Peachy and I finally match. Look how silky and smooth my legs are now, thanks to your shampoo. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Mother Nature. Ah, uh, I'm not here. Oh, yes, you are. You can't fool Mother Nature. <laughs> Mr. Woodpecker, our report shows you are 550,000 pecks behind even the laziest woodpecker. You are being demoted to a pigeon. But I'm a woodpecker. Not anymore. Now you're a pigeon. <laughs> No! I am a woodpecker! You can't do this to me! Please, Mother Nature. I gotta be promoted back to woodpecker! Do a good job as a pigeon, and you will be eligible for a review in no time. All right, let's get this show on the road. Where are the drinks and sandwiches? Uh, uh Mother Nature told me to expect you, uh, sit down! We pigeons have been having a problem regarding our, uh, uh, coverage. As you can see, statues are down by 23%. Our coverage on cars has maintained a, a, a constant increase, uh, but, but there is always room for improvement. Now let's get going! <laughs> Yes, 
Oh, I see. First day and you're already uh, slacking, huh, smart guy? Now you shake your tail feathers or I'll see you never get a promotion back to uh, Woodpecker. Now get busy on those statues. I knew you were a sucker from the word wood. How do you expect to cover your area now? All done, sir. That's impossible. Coverage complete, sir. Uh, yeah, but you, uh, how did you? Oh, that has got to be a pigeon record. Uh, you're up to something, and when I find out what it is, I will see you demoted to Dodo Bird. Okay, pigeons. Starting today, the company is bringing back an old pigeon standby. We're mounting a carrier pigeon squadron once more. Hey, but this time, no more little messages tied to the leg. This is the era of pigeon delivery. Well, guess I better get going. Can't talk now. There's work to be done and no time for fun. To New York, to Detroit, to Cleveland, to Seattle, Bora Bora, Bora Bora. Oh, Bora Bora! Well, I finished my deliveries. Might as well enjoy some of that off time at the beach. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. We'll have this business licked in no time. Where is that good-for-nothing woodpecker? I have you now. You. Uh, busted now, mister. What is this? Well, sir, I did forget to deliver one package. It was returned to sender. Oh, you Nimrod! This was just across town. Follow me, and I'll show you how a real pigeon delivers. He sure is heavy. <sighs> so long, Mac. Beauty. You're up to something, Woodpecker. And mark my words, I will bust you if it's the last thing I ever do as a pigeon. Apparently, we have some competition from these guys. You are swallows. They're moving in on our crumb-gathering territory. Let's show these swallows what it means to be a pigeon. Step right up, free one-way tickets to San Juan Capistrano. Step right up, free tickets for any bona fide swallows. Move along, move along, no shoving. There's enough seats for everyone. Yeah, why don't we do it? Let's do it now. What's your trick, Woody? Oh, just a crummy little idea. Get it? Crummy. <laughs> <laughs> Woody, you've excelled in every job you were given. I see no reason why I shouldn't promote you back to Woodpecker. Oh, Joy. Oh, boy. I love my beak. I can't wait to start pecking again. I knew he'd turn out fine. Mother Nature. Mother Nature, I've got it. I've got photos. Woody's been scamming us the whole time. Oh, well, I, well but, but I've already promoted him. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, you've got to do something. Yeah, I know. Turn him into a newt, a stink bug. How about an amoeba? No, I've got a better idea. Yeah. This is the life. It's good to be a woodpecker again. Mother Nature. Why, what a pleasant surprise. I, uh, I was just about to get to work. I've got a lot of trees to peck. Just a second. Listen, Woody, you did so well in the pigeon training squad that I've decided to promote you again. Woo! Another promotion. To what? Hawk. Eagle, you're bringing back the pterodactyl. <laughs> Congratulations. You are now in charge of training all woodpeckers. And here's your first student now. Hey, Woodpecker, I'm here for six months of training, and I want to get every second of it on tape. Mother Nature, 